Taurus, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Taurus strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or anyone who's curious about Taurus. For right now, let's see what's here in the week ahead for Taurus. Um, in addition, I am doing uh, personal readings again, Capricorn, so if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, feel free to look uh, um, at the link in the video description box uh, uh, um, to get to the store. The Five of Wands almost found its way out as well, but it didn't. It stayed in. Oh, jeez. Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords flipping over. And let's go to the bottom row. Wheel of Fortune flipping over. Ooh, Four of Cups in reverse. That's how we like it. Okay, let's see what's here. Let's see what's here for Taurus. We start off with the Death Energy. Higher font. There you are, Taurus. Nine of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. Strength energy in reverse. Ten of Cups on its side. It's okay. I'm glad to see it's here. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups in reverse. Taurus. All right, let's get right into this. Now, I'm just going to remind myself and remind everyone else that this is a weekly reading, not an annual reading or even a monthly reading. It's a weekly reading. So if I get overly dramatic, Taurus, just know that this is the energy that is the energy picture that's in front of me and I can get really drawn into it and I could be really dramatic, but it could just be something smaller too, because it is just a weekly reading. So let's see what we have here, Taurus. We have you in the first half of this week in the Six of Pentacles. Uh, I think you're feeling um, some sort of satisfaction here, some sort of return or some sort of reward. Um, you really are satisfied and feel there, there's a feeling of satisfaction here at what you're doing. And I think that there is a free flowing kind of generosity that's radiating around you or radiating outside of you. Uh, this is something I think, Taurus, that you're doing because the reality calls for it. I think that the situation calls for it. I think you're in a balanced place where you understand like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And this is what I have to do. And th this is what, where the rewards come in for me. So I do think that you are feeling okay about where you're at. Now you're starting off the week in the death energy. So there's something here that you were trying not to do or something here that just wasn't there for you before. Um, there's something here, though, that you're doing. I think that you're taking action in. Could be feelings. It could be emotions as well. But there's obviously something that has happened in the past that you are now kind of resigning yourself to, saying, okay, well, it's here now. I better make the most of it. And you kind of turn it around and kind of build something out of it. And that's what we have here for Taurus. We have the strength energy in reverse. So, um, I think you're just letting yourself go, Taurus. You're just letting yourself do it. You're letting yourself move into it, whatever it is. At first, you might have fought against it for quite some time. You might have held back from it. You might have held back from it, or you might have been held back from it by someone else, like connecting in with the chains around the lion's neck there. So there could have been some pretty harsh, maybe even harsh words were said. Something could have happened here, Taurus. But I do think all in all, you're understanding the reasons for it and you're seeing and you're feeling satisfied with with what you're doing. Uh, I think ultimately there is a, some sort of structure, some sort of contract here, 
some sort of agreement that you have, Taurus, that's helping you to feel better about money, is helping you to feel better about where you are financially. And while it might not have been ultimately what you ever thought you would do or ever what you wanted to do, I think you're seeing the reasons for it and the way that it can really bring you into a better place in life. And so um I, I do think also that you are connecting into the Ten of Cups. You are thinking about the future and 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 seeing how the future is going to be different and how you can connect in um, with your family and your friends and your own life in a way that's much more pleasurable, much more relief. I, I feel relief could be coming. Some sort of great relief could be here. What will life be like when I don't have this burden? What will life be like when I don't have this situation? Um, better days ahead. This is like a three of wands energy, but it's... Um, it, it's something I feel like it's more it's more real than the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is anticipation of better days. This is like seeing it happening, seeing it begin to happen, Taurus. And I I really think that you're you're seeing how if you stay at work with this or if you stay connected with this, uh, and you stay strong throughout this period, that there is some sort of beautiful reward here for you, Taurus. Um, as you move. Through the end of the week, you're in the Four of Cups reversed. And I, when I was shuffling, I saw the Four of Cups flip over in the upright, and now it's out on the deck in the reverse. So uh, it it's, could have been some sort of offer, some sort of opportunity that at first you just didn't like. Um, I think now you're seeing the potential. I think that you're seeing the reasons for it. And um, you still have some reservations. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, Taurus, like I think you still have some reservations. You still might be a little doubtful. You could be thinking of all the problems that are going to arise. I could just feel it like, well, I better check into this and I better, a little bit of grumbling, Taurus, uh, because really at the end of the day, there are, there are some things here that you really care about. You really care about your family and your home and your passions for life. I mean, I don't think you're wanting to give up anything here. I don't think you're walking away from anything that you were doing before. I think what this is, is some sort of difference in what you're doing, maybe an added capacity. Maybe something new coming in that's adding to what you already had. And maybe that's one of the reasons why you were not wanting to do it. Maybe your plate was already full, right? Maybe your job description was already three pages long. And then at the end, it says any other required duties as, you know, as they can. We, what is that line? <laughs> and anything else that we tell you to do, you know, it's like fitting. It could just be kind of fitting into that kind of a situation for you. Uh, you're not walking away from it, and I think that you're realizing it could bring you some real betterment here, but um, I think you're also saying, I need to watch out for this, and I need to pay attention to that. It's like you're in some sort of, um, okay, let's re get, do I have all my equipment? Do I have everything here? What, you know, what am I going to say? You know, it's just kind of preparing and preparing. Uh, it's almost like you're preparing to go into battle. Not that you are, and please don't. I mean, we don't need any more wars in this land and in, in this world. Um I don't know where that came from. It's because the energy is kind of thick. I have to say, like, it's it's really intense energy, even if it's here. I had that big blurb in the beginning, but I do feel like it's kind of intense, Taurus. And um, here we go, though. As you're in exiting the, the end of the week, we have the Ace of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles. So there is, I'm Taurus, there's something beautiful here, something that's going to help improve your assets. Um, perhaps come in and help you with your home. Perhaps of some, there's some sort of increased income here connected to this. I think you absolutely know why you're doing it. Um, is it going to be hard? Yeah, I think it's going to be a little hard or, or you're thinking it will be, but look what is in the middle. The, the 10 of cups is here right smack in the middle. So whatever it is, this agreement that you're making, there could be an engagement here, right? Um, but I do feel like it's a contract, an agreement, some sort of, um, business arrangement, perhaps, um, some sort of promise that you made, perhaps that is something that you're having to do. But I do think that there's equal opportunity here for, for some sort of nice situation. And you, you are on the receiving end of that as well. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, new beautiful improvements coming in. And the Ace of Pentacles isn't an idea. You know, it's not some thought that you have. It's not, you know, new passion. It's something that's, like actually existing, which I love the Ace of Pentacles. It's um, it's my favorite Ace, I have to say, because it is something that's real, it's tangible, it's something that helps improve life. Um, 
I think even rich people like the Ace of Pentacles. Who wouldn't like the Ace of Pentacles? It's something that can help make things better. We also have the Queen of Pentacles here, Taurus. So as you're moving out of the week, you're in the Queen of Pentacles position, um, working hard, keeping your nose to the grindstone, uh, understanding what your roles are, and, and just working hard and moving forward. And and it's like you have that um, some sort of pentacle right there that you're holding, Taurus. So um, I do feel like this is a strong week, a, a week that takes strength for you to make some sort of decision. Um, also making strong realizations at the improvement that it could be. And then as you're exiting the week, I do feel like, uh, you're engaging in this opportunity. You're engaging in your life in a way to bring in consistency and reliability and perseverance and good health care, right? And sleeping at night. The ace, the queen of pentacles realizes like if she doesn't have her healthy eating and her good sleep and her, um, sanctuary time. I mean, she sometimes can struggle with her heavy workload, but I see you here, the queen of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. I think this is a very satisfying week for you, Taurus. And I'm so happy to see this here. You really have, um, stepped into something that is going to help you, um, to bring, um, some sort of improvement here, Taurus. So really excited to see this. And, um, I want to go into now the, the Ace of Pentacles just to see if we can get just a little bit more information for you. Realizing it is a general reading, but we'll see who, what's here. Oh, gosh. Look how that card landed in my hand. That has never happened before. Um, Nine of Swords could be some underlying worry, underlying concerns about the new opportunity. Could be some thinking to do. Could be some worry here. Five of Cups. It could have been something that you did in the past. Something that you did in the past that was maybe it didn't turn out as well as you thought. There's a reason why you held back for so long. Um, see, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, masculine energy. This is really um, seeing through the emotion, seeing through the worry, realizing the importance of the decision, um, being logical and rational and, and understanding that sometimes um, that we just have to trust and, and make the best decision possible. And I do feel like there's something here that you you are deciding on and thinking logically about you could be in a thinking position about this ace of pentacles now is this ace of pentacles going to come in right now it could but since we have the king of swords here in this thinking there might be some development of this to do like okay we've agreed on this now how do we want it to happen and you could and this ace of pentacles against the nine of nine of wands so you could be saying Gosh, like I, I know this person is, has this weakness. How am I going to deal with that weakness? And I know that, you know, um, it, there, there just could be some situations here that need to be finagled a little bit, need to be like, um, clarified. You could be coming down with a list of challenges or a list of issues that you see, or you could just be kind of strategizing on what the, the challenges are with this new potential here that's coming in. But I do feel like you have accepted it or you have changed your mind about it where you once didn't really care about it too much, or you didn't really think about it as an option. And now it's something that could significantly help you, or at least kind of bump you up a notch here financially, which would bring in a lot of relief and happiness um, for you, Taurus. So that is the, the weekly read. Thank you very much for being here. It is a pleasure to read for you. And those that are moving to the extended, I will see you there on the other side. All right. Thank you, Taurus. Bye.